Marvelous Fuses. How are we doing, guys? So tonight we're going to do the turtle mold. This is the new turtle mold that I got. Um, the one I got off of Amazon from Julie. Um, I'm going to put this in it. Um, it's safe packaging. I love it. So I'm going to cut this back piece off here. And we're going to use this in the turtle. We're going to try something else, but I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if this is just going to clump up into a ball of junk or whatever, but I'm going to mix up some resin, some clear resin, and I'm going to try mixing a little bit of this in with some of the resin. In just a little bit of it. I'm not going to mix the whole thing. That way, if it doesn't, if I see it's like clumping up and not staying looking like this, then I'm not going to do it. But if I put it in a little bit of resin and kind of coat it, if it stays looking like this, I'm going to put some in the turtle. And then I'm going to take the holographic and I'm going to put it in his flippers. I've thought about gluing eyes on him. I have the eyes. Um, what are we at here? I have some eyes. I had them out too so I could use them. I don't know what I did with him. Uh, I'll just color his eyes in after the fact. Because number one, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put down in his head yet. So I really don't know what color I want to do in his eyes. Because I may, I have a couple of these, I may do, if this doesn't work, I may do this here and something else in here. So, either way, this is going to get used in the turtle. So I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up some resin and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So, I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in here. I did run it through my resin ears. Bubble machine. get here okay it looks like it's gonna hold together okay so we're gonna pour some more in here I'm gonna mix that up a little bit I'll pour a little bit of resin in here We're not just putting it in there with nothing. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. Okay. So, we're going to put this probably up in the head. It up in his head here. I want to leave room for the resin. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit more in here. Let's put some more resin in. I don't want a lot. I want to fill it up to about the top of his shell. Because like I said, we're going to come in after the fact and we're going to put some stuff in. In the back and on his flippers. Dump this in. I 
Okay. Come on, get that gun in here. Put it down in here like so. Now, I want to add a little bit of marabou sparkle to this. Not a lot. Uh, that's all this is, pretty much, is like alcohol glitter. <laughs> One, two, three, there we go. That's plenty. Sometimes this tends to like get a little carried away and take over. And I don't want it to do that. We're not giving it all. I don't think we're going to use most of this resin. Anyway, we're just going to top this off right here. Want to be sure everything's nice and full. And yeah, it might take it. Okay, let's make sure it's down in his head. Okay. Yeah, it is going to take most of it. Perfect. I think we'll call this the recycled turtle. Because everything that I'm going to put in him is recycled. <laughs> How's that? Recycled turtle. Except the resin. Yeah, we'll call him the Recycled Turtle. That's funny. Alright. So we're going to let him cure. And then when he's done, we are going to come back in and we will do his fins. Or his flippers and his... The rest of him. And top him off and... We'll be done, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Okay, we are back. So, this is cured. Let it sit overnight. I'm coming out here early enough in the day. It's not super hot yet. So, we're going to do this, and uh, that way it'll be ready for tonight. So, what I want to do is I'm going to put a little bit of resin in his flippers here so it's not I'm not just putting these down with nothing underneath them Okay, so we are going to put, yeah, this one's going to go here. Did I do that right? No, yeah, I did, okay. All right, so that's going to go right there like that. This one is going to go like so. Make sure that there's no bubbles under it. Okay. And then this one here. I think there's one up there, isn't it? That one.
piece here on the end I need to cut off on the side. Stick it up too much. There we go. And that can lay down in there. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to wipe these scissors off now. My good scissors. I don't want to get... I have resin all over them and get them around. Now let's finish this. There we go. Got it laying down. Now, we are going to put, I don't know if it's going to take all this. That's alright, if we don't, we'll use it for something else. I am going to dump in, now all of this came from the same person. Uh, it is called Ocean, I can't read it, but there's glitter in there. And I don't have my glasses on. Ocean waves? Yeah, ocean waves. And it's a chunky mix. Alright. I'm going to dump a bunch of this in here. Okay. About half of it. I don't want to use it all. <laughs> okay, I do want to add a little bit more fine glitter to the mix. going to do some Elsa. I'm just going to dump some of this in here. All right. Just like so. Ah, glitter all over my table. I just dumped glitter all over my table. That's all right. I got my little vacuum. I'll use him to vacuum the glitter up. My little robot vacuum. Kind of want to call him Johnny Five. <laughs> I love that movie, Short Circuit. Anybody remember that movie? I know, probably y'all, a lot of y'all do. in his tail. Make sure it's in his tail. Yeah. That's beautiful. Look at the colors of that. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Where do I want to put it? Put this in. I know what put it in. Put it in the hairbrush mold. Some will fill it up, but we'll put it in here and oh my word, this is gorgeous. Yeah. 
would be a beautiful hairbrush. We will come in and when it's done, I will put, um, might put something on the back here, maybe. Some kind of a sticker or something on the back. It wasn't so hot, I come out here and cut some vinyl, but it's a little hot right now to be out here for very long. So I'll probably just use a pre-made sticker and put into the hairbrush back here, and then I'll coat it with some clear because it's pretty full. It's got enough, I can put a coat of clear in there. All right. Spray some alcohol on here. Make sure my little head doesn't have any bubbles. I'm actually going to run my... edge here to make sure everything is stuck down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wipe this off. Okay, and we're going to let this dry, and we'll be back when it's time to demold it. Bye. Hello, guys. We are back. So, uh, this turtle, what we did was we put in some of the curly paper. We put in iridescent film and glitter all of which came when I won a prize from Mary over at Resume Up um, me being a crafter I think I can repurpose anything I had a bag for the longest time I finally got rid of them because I'm like I've had them for a year and a half and I haven't used them one time and they were the little plastic tubes that come out of doggy poop bags I didn't even have a dog I walked I collected them from everybody else's but yeah, they were little plastic tubes that were doggy poop bag tubes. And uh, I had saved all of these and there were, I probably had 50 of them. And I'm like, I never came up with a, something to use them for in a year. And I thought, well, if I'm not going to do it in a year, I'm probably not going to use it. So I just recently got rid of them. But all of the glitter that I used, except for Elsa, uh, Elsa came from... Brands, glitters, and more.com. Yeah, friends, glitters, and more.com. Elsa. Uh, that's the only one that everything else came from that box. I repurposed it from that box. Uh, the box itself I kept because it's beautiful, but I kept this stuff because I was like, I wonder if I can use this for something. Aside from packing. So. I got up, left, went in the other room because it was hot in here, still hot in here. Not as bad as it is during the day, but my piece of stuff rubs up to the top. I'm not super concerned because it's still going to be pretty with the sparkly legs. It's just not going to have that piece all the way down in it. We are going to demold this turtle. his tail out here if I got his tail even hope I did oh, yeah. oh yep he got a tail he's got a tail guys all right, let's start peeling this off. Okay, so that's off. Get it off up here around his tail. Okay. 
Get his head out here. Ah, ah, it's out. He is out. Okay, move the mold over here. I cut a bunch of this stuff up that was left over from the bags. And it's like stuck all over my table over here. And I put my arm down and it's stuck all over my arm. <laughs> Alright. So I'm ready. I'm so curious to see how these did. Alright. One, two, and three. Oh, wow. You can still see the... I don't know if you can see it on camera. But you can still see the crinkle of the paper. It kept, it, kept the crinkles even in it. Wow. You see a little bit of the holographic in here. A lot of that glitter, I think, sunk down in there. But it's beautiful. This turtle is gorgeous. He's so pretty. Alright. i got to color his eyes in. Wow, that's pretty. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's color his eyes in here. He's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. Yeah, I like that mold a lot. I like that it doesn't have a lot of crazy stuff in it. You know, that other mold's pretty, don't get me wrong. It's got all those, like, I want not really tribal designs, but kind of what I would call something like that. And, uh, when you put anything in the shell, it kind of, to me, I feel like it distracts from the shell. Unless you're highlighting that feature. This is like a regular turtle shell. So I feel like it really, really, really highlights whatever you put in it. That is just beautiful. Wow. Okay. And on our... I've got to fill this with another coat of resin. But I picked out the sticker I'm going to put on it. I'm going to do this man ray. And I'm going to put him right here in the center with his tail going down the middle. And then I'm going to pour clear over the top of it. And then we'll demold it. Probably, we'll probably demold it tomorrow night uh, when we do our next video. I'm going to start it here in a little while. And I'll pour the clear for this when I do the next video. So I'll see you guys later on this one. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cures beautifully. Your craft projects turn, turn out amazing. Hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share. I really appreciate everyone being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, again, I try to I try to help out other channels as much as possible. Um, I have a list of channels that. Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to miss somebody because I wrote my list down. So I'm going to give some shout outs to my favorite channels. Uh, Ray's Turquoise Turtle. 
Ray does a little bit of everything, but she was my go-to when I first started learning everything about tumblers. Uh, I watched Michelle at Glitz and Glitter do tumblers too, but I really, really, really like the style of stuff Ray does. A lot more stuff, more like I'm interested in doing. Uh, we have Loretta over at Awesome Incidentals. Hello, hello. Uh, we have Homemade Miracles UK. We have Miss April at Dragons and Dresses Craftsordium. Uh, we have Lena over at Crafty Shenanigans. We have Marcy at Marcy's Artsy Fartsy Creations. We have Twisted Anomaly Art. We have Crafting by Carla with a K. We have Southern Lady Artistic Creations. Mini Scenes GB. Uh, Beating Crazy Custom Creations. Mary over at Resin Me Up. DNA Resin. Epoxy Me That. Uh, Blue Elephant. Coral Marine. Coral's awesome, guys. If you haven't really checked her out, Coral Marine's awesome. Uh, Billy Holman's Creations. Um, I don't know if she's doing them anymore or not. <laughs> Her life has kind of changed, but Sam I Am Resin Art, Resin Craft. Of course, Glitz and Glitter by Michelle. If you don't know Michelle and Dawn, Dawn is hilarious. Uh, Claire's Crafty Corner. Of course, everybody should know Claire. And if they know Claire, they know Wendy over at Tomb Pitch Crafts. Uh, we have Missy Evans Creations. Wanda's Blessed Creations. Resin Nut. Resin Creations by Allison. Um, Sherry Moulton. Uh, Janet's Creations. And last but not least are crazy mad scientist that gives us so much inspiration daniel cooper i'm sure everybody knows him i also want to give a couple of channels a shout out that aren't necessarily resin craft channels that they're huge channels don't get me wrong they're huge channels so they probably don't need a shout out from me but i'm going to give them one anyway uh, i love watching melissa the cheap chick for anyone that didn't know it, Melissa is actually part of the re most of the reason I have a channel. Uh, when I was thinking about starting a channel, I had no clue what to do. None whatsoever. Watched videos, tried everything I could to try to figure it out. I was lost. So much different information out there. I was lost. I didn't know what I, what to do. So I reached out to her. Uh, via in Instagram, I believe. Uh, I instant messaged her. And she actually messaged me back. And I told her I was from Florida. What I wanted to do, I wanted to start a craft channel. Um, and she gave me tips and pointers on how to film. What to use to film with. Uh, how to edit and put, you know, that I was going to have to edit and put my deals up. She recommended software, recommended stuff for me. And pretty much got me on the road and got me started doing this. So, I will always, always, always be grateful for Melissa over at Cheap Chick. Um, another one that huge, huge, huge channel herself. And, uh. There, well, there's actually a couple. Um, acrylic Pouring Channel. Molly's Artistry. Uh, I was always inspired by Molly's. like her funny sense of humor. Uh, she was, She's just an awesome person. Love watching her. Um, Olga Sobe. She was another acrylic pouring artist. Um... Oh my gosh, I just drew a blank because I don't, I don't have the, I don't have these written down. Um, Canela Caraco, Soraco. Um, and oh my gosh, my mind just went blank, and I know her name. 
Vivian tries. Oh, I drew a blank there. I don't know why. Vivian tries, guys. If you don't watch, she compares stuff. She shows a little, all the different stuff. A lot of Dollar Tree stuff, Daiso stuff, Five Below. Uh, she'll show you different things that she got in different places and show you kind of what she, all these. Uh, but all of these channels are amazing channels and I'm sure most of y'all probably watch them also. Uh, but I just wanted to give everybody a shout out tonight. I hadn't done it in a while. And if I missed your channel, I am so sorry. Uh, don't put it in the comments. Because I see the comments, but I don't save. The, it's hard to save them on the comments. If you email me, just email me your channel name. That's all you got to do. Email me your channel name. And I will give you a shout out on here. Hopefully it will help your channel grow. Uh, like I said, go give all, the guy, all these guys a like and a follow. Tracy over at Mini Scenes is taking over Claire's uh, collaboration. I haven't entered the collaboration the last last two, I believe, yeah, the last two, um, mainly because I kind of know what Claire has to do to do this, and it's not easy, so Tracy, kudos to you, Tracy, kudos to you, um, I think it's amazing that Tracy's going to do it, please guys, you know, whatever direction she gives you, follow them, uh, but yeah, the bigger it got, you know, it's hard because she, she's got to go through and make sure she's attached everybody's videos and linked everybody's stuff, which means she's going to take time to do all this. It's time consuming. It's time consuming to edit your own videos, much to, less to go in and pull up 20 videos, 30 videos, attach them, link them, have them all out by a certain time and a certain day. And if somebody sends one in last minute, you got to go in and add them, stuff like that. It's It's a lot of work. So, give these ladies their props for what they do, because it's 100% amazing. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope you all have, are happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. Your resin cures, gorgeous craft projects turn out amazing. I'll see you all tomorrow night. Bye.